Yeah, so I'm at the top of the hill here. I can see Frozen Strike Lake down there. Uh, yeah, I'm not having any problem at all walking on this snow because it's so hard now, especially along the uh, snowmobile track here. You know, this is, I think, part of the problem that causes problems, uh, causes issues for hikers in these sites because these snowmobiles are not supposed to be coming in here. And I just saw one on the way out, one passed me going out, and it wasn't a mine worker. They're getting in around the gates, and uh, you know, that does cause issues for the, uh, you know, Dennis Environmental because they're not supposed to be, vehicles aren't supposed to be getting in here. I don't think they mind hikers so much, but uh, certainly vehicles, ATVs and snowmobiles are really not supposed to be getting in here. So, you know, you know, you give people an inch and they'll take a mile, you know, and you can't trust anyone in this world. I've learned that the hard way, and I don't. I don't trust anyone. <clears throat> yeah. It's sad, very sad, the way the world has gone now. I mean, I can hardly read the news anymore because it's so, you know, crazy it's unbelievably crazy <laughs> things were so much simpler back when I was young well of course when you're young you don't uh, you see things in a different way you know you don't really know the uh, the whole story you only see see uh, the world through your young eyes <laughs> and they're not experienced at all <laughs> yeah that's why I don't get why they're giving this uh, this Greta Thunberg, you know, so much uh, press. I mean, she's a kid for crying out loud. <laughs> what does she know for crying out loud? She may know academics, I mean, but she has no life experience. And here she is talking to all the leaders of the world. Give me a friggin' break. I mean, that's another crazy thing that's going on, but then again, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I can just sit there read the news and shake my head you know that's all i'm doing lately shaking my head when i read these stories you know it's just so unbelievable <laughs> yeah and you know even me for me i mean i put uh videos up on uh, youtube and uh i have to watch every word i say now i mean uh, i i've tread the line very closely and uh, you know lately especially and uh, you know all I'm trying to do is live my retirement out as as enjoyable as possible and it's very difficult for me to I mean it's easier for me to do up here because it's it's so uh, insulated from most of the uh, craziness that's going on but not completely insulated let me tell you there are things that happen up here too that uh, I could say something about but I won't because you know, under the, the conditions now, I can't. <laughs> that's, a, that's a simple answer, I can't, because uh, freedom of speech is dead, and it has been for a while now, and it's getting worse and worse every day, you know. So all, all people believe is what they see on the, in the media, not just the news, but all the media, and, and they're all brainwashed by it, you know. They don't have any other uh, resource to get their uh, to get the truth from. You're not going to get it from the media, and you're not going to get it from your government. <laughs> Used to be we could uh, get it uh, other places, maybe online, where people have blogs and stuff like that. But you can't even get it there anymore because anything that's the li the least bit uh, racist, sexist, you know, anything ist, anything ist. <laughs> if you put anything ist online, uh, you'll be crucified. And that's really sad. Very, very sad. Because that, that really strangles uh, the freedom of speech. But, like I said, I'm out here to enjoy the rest of my um, retirement. And I'm, that's what I'm doing. I, I've had an, a fantastic time for the last nine years up here. I just, like, it, it, it's beyond words. I mean, when I came up here, I was, I was on the road. I had everything I owned in my truck. 
and I didn't know where I was going. I was, as far as I knew, I was headed out to BC and I was going to stay out in the coast there until it got too cool in the winter time. Then I was going to drive down to the southern uh, US, Arizona and such. That's what I thought I was going to do. But when I came to Elliott Lake, I'd never been here before. When I came to Elliott Lake and saw the, the amazing wilderness that was around here and all the great times I could have exploring this wilderness, that's why I stayed. It certainly wasn't because of the, the town of Elliott Lake. I mean, it has basic necessities. Most of, a lot of stuff I buy online, if I can't, like you can't get everything here in Elliott Lake because they just don't have everything. There's no big box store here in Elliott Lake. There's only small stores that have limited uh, kinds of things. Well, Canadian Tire is one of the most basic stores we have here, but it's the smallest Canadian Tire you've ever seen probably. And it's very disorganized because it's so small it can't keep all the um, the items uh, in stock. Well, here comes a, a truck. It looks like a mine site truck. Anyways, let me go.